Um, I would like to start out by saying that my grandfather, Dr. James Powers, Manchester former health officer for many years, would be very proud of his granddaughter being recognized by U.S. Senator Maggie Hassan as an outstanding New Hampshire citizen who went above and beyond to help her neighbors and make the community stronger. I'm going to start crying and I apologize. I didn't think I would. Okay. All right, here we go. On Valentine's Day of 2018, my oncolog oncologist informed me that my cancer had returned. It was treatable but not curable, and if I didn't start chemotherapy right away, I would only have 46 months to live. I found out sometime later that I actually had stage four cancer. Obviously, I did start chemo right away, and on the second round of chemo, I had a severe reaction and could have died. They started me on a different cancer drug, and I developed blood clots in my lungs, so then they tried another type of treatment, which actually saved my life. Of course, I'm elated to be alive. However, this drug that saved my life caused permanent damage to my esophagus, and I am unable to swallow solid food. Let's just say that my Hamilton Beach blender has become my new best friend. <laughs> As I was faced with the most terrifying experience of my life, I rekindled my lifelong passion for photography and created a new type of genre with my photographs. I began by cropping the photo in a way that would capture the feeling of the essence of the photo itself. I purchased a three photo frame and took a leap of faith and arranged three different styles of photos in the same frame. I made several copies and brought them to the hospital with me on a treatment day. I was in awe of the incredibly powerful impact these photos had on the hospital staff and their patients. At that moment in time, I knew that my life had been spared for a much higher purpose which was to help others to heal from the inside out with my pho photographic artistry. So I just happened to have a sample <laughs> <laughs> of my, my creation. And uh, when I was at Mass General, it was really kind of comical that I, um, they were fighting over my, my, my photos. I thought that was a, and, I'm, and then I just, it just touched my heart so deeply that, you know, out of all of this, what is happening is to help others, you know, heal. Unless, you know, like the doctors and nurses, I mean, they, they need to heal too. I mean, it's like they're dealing with us. So, so here is um, a sample. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. And, um, and I'm still in awe. <laughs> so, um, I, then, then, I then produced a cancer journal using my personal cancer journey and my photos. I created the journal so that those of us who are confined to a chair for hours at a time, getting our cancer treatments, we could share our feelings and process our emotions to find much needed res resilience to keep on keeping on. It's not just the medical professions who assist us on our cancer journal journey on our treatment day, but it also was our beloved lunch lady, Terry, who was a ray of sunshine and a bright light at the end of a very dark tunnel. This is a, a picture of my last day of chemo, and there is Terry. <laughs> ah, she was, oh my goodness, yeah. You know, it's just, she's an incredible woman that just kept pouring love into us. Um, in closing, I'd like to say, no matter what challenges life brings you, I am asking all of you to please never, ever quit five minutes before the miracle. Whoever thought that a stage four cancer survivor would be sharing her experience, strength, and hope with all of you this evening. At 74 years old, I'm finally living my authentic life, and as they say, it's never too late to have a happy childhood and finally figure out what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs>